Why, hello there, everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning, or good afternoon, depending on when you see this. But anyhow, today is a pretty simple day. All I'm doing is just really just washing some old enclosures, and it's pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna be doing this once in a while, I guess. And I'm also gonna use this as an opportunity to actually talk about myself, so that way you viewers can know more about me as a person. And today, I'm gonna talk about the beginning of, yes, me, Laxo. So, let's get straight into this. So now, let's begin. So, to be honest, when I first started Exotic Pets, it was more so of pure accidents. You see, in the beginning, when I was in senior high school, my parents would not allow any sort of dogs and cats because they didn't really like the free nature or the free roaming uh, pets around the house. So pretty much my mother and my father was like, nope, you can't have that laxo. And you have to remember, I was still a young teenager at the time that still really wanted some awesome pets or an awesome pet. So I didn't really know what to get. Now my parents were fine with anything that was in an enclosure, a cage, a tank, anything of that nature. So I wanted something very different, something exotic, and something that will be much more easier to take care of than a dog and a cat. And I stumbled upon invertebrates, specifically scorpions. Uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I did not actually wanted a pet tarantula. I wanted a pet scorpion at first, but I'll tell you how it transitioned from wanting scorpions to tarantulas. And trust me, I will never forget the day I got hooked into tarantulas. One day when I was in class in senior high school, one of my classmates actually talked about, you know, exotic pets. And I told him I was very interested in pets. And he said something that will hook me onto tarantulas. And that was, I have a pet rose hair tarantula. And after that, I was hooked. Like, literally hooked. It was that simple. And you have to remember, at this time, tarantula YouTubers were very, very niche. Even though they're much bigger now, back then, they were starting to show up, like, big time. But for the most part, though, the majority of them were very, very niche. So, this was a different time. But, hear me out. I could not actually get a tarantula yet, because at that time, I had no idea how to take care of a tarantula. Like, literally no idea. And also, the online information was pretty all over the place and not very uniform. But that was the internet back then though. But anyhow though, I really did not ask my classmates on how to take care of a tarantula because one, I was super shy. And two, uh, from what I was told, a heat mat and that was pretty much it. So uh, it didn't really sound ideal to me. So I actually went the extra mile to actually look for someone. And that's when I met my first ever tarantula breeder a local tarantula breeder i found him on the internet somehow and this is kind of a interesting relationship he's essentially my instructor or the person who pretty much taught me some things about tarantulas and whatnot so you can consider him the first generation and me the second generation and this guy was uh uh let's call him mr wilkins to be nice but well that sounds pretty similar to his name but i guess it'll do so Mr. Wilkins was actually known for being quite uh, an a-hole, a jerk, a big meanie, and a bully to a lot of people. And to be honest, he was the same way to me as well. But I always came back. And the reason why is because this is the person that actually knew their stuff. And honestly, our relationship as student and teacher was pretty strange because it's not like the traditional sense where a teacher teaches their student and the student just happily obliges and whatnot. Me, I actually sort of counter argue back and to be honest me and him we bicker at each other at times but at the time i didn't really understand why he would teach me of all people because i usually question his ways and usually we get into arguments and bicker back and forth about how to care or how to do this and that of tarantulas but it wasn't until he announced his retirement and i'm not going to go into the full details and story about my time being taught of how to take care of tarantulas that would be for another time but essentially though when he announced his retirement stating that he's selling away all of his tarantulas and quitting i didn't understand why he would do it because he had a large collection he was a pretty good tarantula breeder and honestly i couldn't see a reason as to why he would retire but then he told me essentially to put it in simple terms He's getting older. And he stated that a healthy 60 year old is different from a healthy 20 year old, or a healthy teenager, or a healthy 30 year old. So essentially, he just said, There comes a time when you just have to let go. So knowing myself, at the time I asked him, 
So, uh, do I get anything for free since you're leaving the hobby? And he, <laughs> and he just laughed and he said, no, you're getting nothing. And I was like, what? I'm going to sell my collection and use that money for retirement. You're getting nothing. And he gave me such a disappointing and such a glaring look. And then he stated, if you're as good as me or if you're better than me, you will grow a collection bigger than this in no time. So essentially, yeah, I never got anything from him. So that's the funny thing. I pretty much became a tarantula breeder before I had my first tarantula. So, uh, man, that is awkward. But <laughs> what am I saying? But regardless, though, Mr. Wilkins retired and I got nothing. I have no idea how he's doing or if he's even still alive. But n no disrespect to you, Mr. Wilkins, if you're watching this. But I have to say, though, <clears throat> I can say with confidence now. I surpassed you. Fight me. <laughs> uh, he, he'll get the joke, trust me, if he watches this, that is. But anyhow, though, he moved out, he sold his collection, and I have no idea how he's doing now. Whether he's still alive or not, I really don't know. As stated, our relationship as a teacher and student and whatnot was very different. It was more like two brothers bickering at each other, if I'm being honest. Now, like I stated, in my personal opinion, he had it everything as a tarantula keeper and breeder, but he had to pretty much give it up. And he did have some regrets in the hobby. And this was the biggest one that pretty much sticked with me and is pretty much the reason why he chose me. And that is that he started late. And let me to clarify, when he started keeping tarantulas, he was already in his, was it late 40s, early 50s? So he was pretty much already in his older years when he started tarantula keeping. And then when he took me in, he was pretty much already in his 60s. And you have to understand that exotic pets take years to get into, especially if you're trying to make it big. And unless you have a lot of money, it really is going to take a very long time. So for him... You know, it's understandable. And although he was a very healthy 60 year old, I have to admit, I thought he was still in his 50s. <laughs> like, he was very healthy. He was built like a dad. But, anyhow, though, even though he was very healthy, he did stated that he was worried at times if he got bitten by his piece of Theria ornata, which was my favorite species, by the way. And that's, that's kind of funny. Now that I think about it, it was his uh, piece of Theria ornata that got me loving that species as my all-time favorite tarantula species. But regardless though, he was a bit worried about getting bit by old world tarantulas, especially since he was in his 60s. But he was very healthy though. But then he always goes back to the same statement. A healthy 60 year old is not the same as a healthy teenager or a healthy 30 year old, etc, etc. And he will always lecture me about that, which is why it always stick to my head. And that's essentially how I got into tarantulas and how it started. There's actually a lot of gaps here in the story, such as my time being taught and whatnot, but I guess I'll leave that for another time. But I guess I'll call this a video for today. I don't want to drag this out too long. So, without further ado, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. As always, Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I upload every single Tuesday and Friday here on this channel. And also support me on my social medias such as my IG and Patreon. And also shout out to my Patreon members such as Kale for keeping my tarantulas fed. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.